Hello, it's Lawrence Romanowski from Calgary, Canada, and I'm shooting from the Lugnuts facility. And I thought I would just take a few minutes and do a shop walk and show you some of the cars uh, that we're uh, working on right now as part of Lawrence's garage. Um, so behind me, we see a uh, Ford Model T, 1917, and I spin it around and we've got uh, an Aston DB5 on the hoist. Um, trying not to drip on my Jag XJS. And then we've got Dale here who is finishing the work on uh, our 61 Land Rover, which is gonna go to a new owner in Montana shortly. And in the background, we've got uh, my Hyundai Ionic 5 EV, which I've just done a series of videos on. So I'll, I'll turn the camera around and we'll go through these in just a little bit more detail. Okay, so we have our 1917 Ford Model T. Uh, th this one is kind of a funny history, a uh, fun history. Um, it was, uh, it was uh, basically a prop, a running prop, on a recreation of a old western town that started off with the set of Unforgiven. And uh, the, uh, the movie set was recreated, but actually built up with real buildings and a jail and a, a courthouse and a saloon and so forth. And the Model T was part of that. Um, and uh, anyway, we're, we're, we now have it and we're selling it. Um, we don't really know too much about how it runs. We took a look at the gas, which is I think the first thing you want to look at and it, it wasn't that pretty. And so we took the tank out and I had the tank coated and flushed and so on. And we have a, like the Pour 15 uh, tank coating system. So we're gonna flush it and give it a couple coats and then line the inside of the tank, put it back in and then get this uh, Model T running. Uh, it's, uh, it's an interesting car, it's a 17, they would have made Model Ts from like 1909 to, I don't wanna say, the year 26. It has this optional two-speed rear axle. Yeah, yeah. And uh, an additional lever, you know, in the center there to control the two-speed rear axle. None of the pedals do what you think they're gonna do. Um, one's for reverse, one's high and low gear, and one's for the transmission brake. And then I think the friction brakes are on that handle. Uh, <laughs> have to figure out what, what pedal does what before we try to drive it, but that's kind of an interesting project. Um, we've got my XJS, which uh, I think one of the front pulleys is a little bit noisy in cold weather. And so we'll uh, give that some attention. We have this DB5, which is up in the air and kind of out of the way, so nobody, nobody dings it. Um, and we're giving that a service and it's going through the Assured Provenance Aston Martin program. So we're having a cup, we're having a look, a closer look at some of the parts of this car as part of that. Um, we have the Land Rover Series 1, uh, sorry, Series 2, it's a 61. And so we're almost done this. We got everything put together and we're just doing the final tuning of the engine. Uh, setting the timing and the carbs and so forth, bleeding the brakes, and just doing the last little bit on this car. It's sold, it's going to a guy in, uh, in Montana. Got the interior back together, the dash back together, all the gauges in the right place. And so it, it's, it's really coming along. Well, it's almost done. Um, and it'll be, it'll be sorry to see this go. It just needs a little bit more nice canvas door, uh, uh, door pouches. And just need a little bit more fine tuning before it's ready to go. And we can see the interior as well. Okay. And then I've got um, the Hyundai Onyx 5. I'm just doing a whole series of videos and lectures on EVs. And this is our own uh, family car. Um, and a really interesting vehicle. And if you're, if you're into EVs, then please watch some of my other in-depth ones. Uh, I've got my old S-Class Mercedes out there, 126. It's going to get few little pieces uh, replaced on it and then a Hummer H1 and um, it's, a, it's actually kind of a neat 
neat vehicle. It's got a kitchen that folds out of the back of it. The roof rack is for fishing rods. It's a 98, it's only gone 10,000 miles. It's only ever been used as a fishing truck and um, you know, 10,000 miles only. So we're gonna do a, a service on it and it does have a fuel problem, which we've got to figure out. And then we'll be listing that on Bring a Trailer. So that's what we have at Lugnuts right now. So everything from the 1917 Model T Ford, Aston DB5, 86 Jag XJS, 61 Land Rover, 2022 Hyundai Ionic, Hummer H1, and the uh, and the Mercedes S-Class. So quite an interesting group of cars <laughs> from really the first real car made in mass production, the Model T, to the most modern EV and kind of everything in between. So um, hope hope that's uh, you find that interesting, and we'll uh, we'll continue with these shop walks when we get more interesting cars to show you. Thank you very much, Lawrence Romanowski from Calgary, Canada.